Yo, 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 what up guys, what it do, what it do, what it do, Gorilla Bear Tech is back for you, the big bad GBT baby, back at you again with another product unboxing and review guys. Well, this is more of a review guys, but I, I call it an unboxing and review because it's not necessarily sealed, it's not a sealed box, it's not, com it's not a complete unboxing, because I have flown it, okay, oops, sorry about that guys, I have flown this, all right. Now this is the Horizon Hobby Blade Nano CPS, okay? It's a RC Hobby grade electric helicopter. Operates off of a little one cell LiPo battery. Looks like a stick of gum, I will show you in a moment. But uh, I just want to make this video because I know the Christmas season's coming up, guys, and you saw me doing a lot of videos on RC stuff, related RC stuff like LiPo batteries, the Traxxas LiPos, the Gen Zays, and now this. And I did a bunch of other videos too regarding, you know, the wires and the connectors and stuff like that. Different things for RC cars, okay? And other stuff as well. But anyways, back to you guys once again with another awesome product review. Well, unboxing and review. The Horizon Hobby Blade Nano CPS. And they call it Nano because it's like a mini helicopter. Now they do have the Blade Nano, the regular Nano CP. But this is the S version, it's the more upgraded version from the from the prior generation of this helicopter. And that one's green and it's smaller than this helicopter. Now this one will retail at $130 in most hobby shops and online you could probably get it for you know maybe a better deal like 90 to 125 bucks. But most places that you look for this helicopter, guys, it's gonna cost you $130. Okay, now this one's amazing. It really is amazing. I didn't care to buy the first one, which was the regular CP, the green one I was talking about. That one, that one will run you $69.99, which is $70 plus tax. But out the door with this one, this one was a better deal because I've never experienced helicopters. I've experienced flying drones, you know, these little FPV ones that I have, which I've done videos on. I still got to do more videos on the Ishin ones and yeah, on my Ishins, my other Ishins, but I've never owned a helicopter and I want to try getting into helicopters as well as just RC cars, you know, because I'm a hardcore RC car guy, but I love the cars, but I've never had the helicopter and the drones for as long. So this is the newest addition to the hobby. The pain-free path to 3D aerobatics, and I'm going to get to that in a moment, but this is the box right here. This is, what you, this is basically what you get and what you see in the box. Now, this is the ready-to-run package, and it's an intermediate helicopter, okay? Intermediate collective pitch helicopter. Now they do have beginner, which is the one before this one, but this one's a little bit more advanced than that one. On the bottom it says blade, easy to fly, 3D performance, lightweight design, safe technology, okay, crash protection, so obviously it's got a durable frame. Now I'll get to that as well in a moment. It's not as durable as they claim, but it is freaking durable, guys. Okay, right here, pause and read for yourselves. Design built and backed. Okay, safe technology, pause and read that, guys. Okay. The Blade Nano CPS features exclusive safe sensor assisted flight envelope technology and revolutionary electronic flight envelope protection system that makes it easy for anyone to fly helicopters with confidence. Flight mode versatility means that you can choose the, the how much control you need as your skills progress. Plus you got the virtual protection of panic recovery mode, which is a switch at the top right hand corner will top rear end corner of the remote. Uh, I will show you guys that in a moment as well. That's panic recovery. That one's still recover the heli to a level altitude uh, for your for you at the push of a button, okay? Well, it's like the flick of a switch basically, but panic recovery mode. Once again, take a take a pause to the video guys if you need to, you know, read the detail. Stuff that I've passed up, stability mode. You also do get stability mode. Okay. 3D mode as well. Now I haven't been able to use all the modes because you gotta be more of an expert level expert level flyer. And another thing I was gonna point out real quick, guys, before I get to the rest of the box, this is an indoor flying helicopter. Do not try to fly this outdoors. It only operates off of brush motors, not brushless, okay? So it's not one of those bigger 200 plus dollar helicopters that you can fly outside of the park or whatever, you know? I've tried that, it's not that great outside. I mean, it's powerful, 
but even the slightest wind will, will knock this thing to the ground, okay? Trust me, you don't want to crash this, it's $130. But it's hobby grade, you can upgrade it, take it to your local hobby shop, find parts for it online. I mean, I'm sure they still sell parts for it because this, this helicopter is still being sold. Okay, features right there. Once again, guys, I'm not going to read all of the video. It'll take too long. Plus, you guys will probably get bored with all of that. comes in different languages, of course. Okay. What else? You guys saw that side of the box. This is obviously the color of it. Right there is some better detail. Okay, there's some of the specs. And once again, I did say this is a ready-to-run kit, which it is. It is cheaper without the remote and everything. Without the remote and just the battery and the helicopter, it will cost you about 70, 75 to 85 bucks. So much cheaper, but it's up to you guys. You want to get the ready to run, especially if you're somebody new to the hobby, you'll definitely want to get ready to run. But if you're if you're a more advanced flyer with drones and helicopters, stuff of this nature, you'll just get the cheaper version, which doesn't come with the remote. You bind your own remote controller your own transmitter to the uh, to the helicopter or drone that you're flying, okay? Everything's included in the box, guys. The helicopter itself, the 2.4 gigahertz transmitter, rechargeable battery. Yes, you do get a rechargeable LiPo battery, one cell, looks like a stick of gum, like I said. You get the USB charger, which is portable. You get, also get four AA batteries, which is a nice thing because a lot of companies don't include that. Now, this is the look of the remote. Looks much different from my Blade and Duck Tricks drone, which is also a Horizon Hobby product that I did a video on not long ago. Well, it was a while ago, guys. It was about three months ago, four months ago. But still, it's a different look and control of them from this one that you use for the helicopter. Okay, that's the model number at the bottom. BLH2400. Those are the contents right there that you get in the box. That's what it looks like. Now, I've taken mine apart, guys. Mine doesn't look so pretty. I have crashed it outside once again. Punctured a hole. And the part that says blade right here on the right hand side, so you're gonna see a hole in the frame as soon as I open this box. All right, it doesn't look so pretty. I also removed the blades because at one point I was moving, so I had to package everything up nicely. All right, guys, real life RC simulator. Uh, I'm not gonna read all this to you guys, it's gonna take forever. Man, video will take like 25 minutes, but just pause and read it for yourselves, okay. You guys have seen tons of you guys have seen tons of unboxings and reviews on YouTube, guys. But you know, you guys get the gist of things, all right. Once again, Horizon Hobbies a company. Here's a little diagram of the helicopter, the weight, the dimensions, some of the specs, right? Now these are the real specs, obviously. Uh, the other stuff was just more like extra information, but. Now it does have 3D movability and what they mean by 3D guys, I didn't know what that meant, but the guy at the shop explained it to me and then I played with it, so I definitely know what he was talking about. 3D basically is you can fly this helicopter upside down. The other one, the regular one, the green colored one, which is a smaller helicopter as well, shorter in length, just smaller in size and stature. You can do tricks with that one. This one you can actually flip upside down. I'm not that good of a flyer yet. I don't want to fly it upside down because I've already wrecked it like six or seven times guys. This thing's badass and it's pretty loud, so be careful. If it hits your child or if it hits a little kid in general or your cousin, whoever may be standing there and you accidentally fly it into their head or something, you know, or some other body part, something. You know, you fly it into a wall, something as in a wall, a body part, you know, a limb of a child or a grown adult. This has a feature where, where it automatically stops the blades from spinning, guys, okay? So you're okay. And it's not going to hurt if it hits you. It's not brushless powered. It's not that heavy. It's not something super dangerous. So it ain't going to kill anybody. But if it hits someone in the eye, it definitely will kill them. Kill them, I should say. Okay, but there you go, guys. Read that. Pause and read it for yourselves. Okay. Anyways. Disregard the stuff out there. Just a bunch of mambo jumbo. Uh, alrighty. There you go, guys. I know it sounds noisy in there because once again, I've taken it apart. I've taken the, uh, I haven't flown in like four, at least three or four months, guys. Um, since I've taken it apart, I need to upgrade some stuff on it, you know, get it flying again, get it up in the air. Okay, it came out in 2015. Not for children under 14 years, so be careful, guys. It's not a toy. You know, 
warnings, all that good stuff, right guys? Uh, so now I'm going to open it, opens from the top. Once again, you get a blade in the rear, which it goes like this, it's for your pitch and stuff, and then you get the two right there. Alright, $130. Alright guys, like I said, it doesn't look too pretty, I took it apart, but anyways, this is the canopy for it, the Lexan shell, whatever they call it. All right, now I broke this one because I crashed it, so I got to get a new plastic frame for my helicopter. Got to basically get rid of all the brush motors in there and everything and put it into a different plastic frame, a stock frame, that is. I may upgrade to an aluminum frame, though, guys. I may upgrade to an aluminum frame, though. Okay, so nano CPS is what it looks like on both sides before I put a hole in it on accident when it fell and crashed outside. Okay. It emits a blue and red, a purple, blue, and red light. Red is when it dies. Uh, blue and purple is when you're arming it. So, well, purple is when it's armed. It just stays a solid purple. Turns blue when it's ready to fly. Red when the battery is about to die. So, battery doesn't last too long, guys. You got to be careful. It will go down um, if you don't have, you know, some type of device that tracks the battery time on the battery. You know what I mean? So, it doesn't have an armor or anything like that, you know, where it emits a beep. Uh, I believe this one does. I believe the controller does give you... It's been a while since I've flown it, but I believe the controller does emit uh, a tone from it when it's, about to, when it's about to die. So basically, when it emits a tone, you guys need to start flying low. Don't be flying 10 to 15 feet high in case it falls out of the air, you know what I mean? And uh, make sure you have a nice flat surface like a table coffee table, something to land on, this box if you saved it. You know what I mean? Like I said, I got a hole in it right here when I flew it outside, so. Yeah, guys, I know I punctured a hole. Now, this is the remote. That's the helicopter right there inside. That's the uh, the USB charger. Uh, the USB charger, uh, what do you call it? A little piece, the little adapter that you stick into your uh, into your wall outlet. To charge or into the side of your laptop desktop computer you name it and then this is the battery that came with it so you get a one cell 3.7 volt 150 milliamp this only lasts about a good five minutes guys a good a good five to eight minutes maybe ten it doesn't last that long it's 45c rated 3c maximum charge rate okay 5wh I never knew what that actually stood for. Didn't really care, guys. But anyways, I believe that's the model number right there at the bottom. Now, like I said, it looks like a stick of gum. About one and a half to two inches long. Well, one to two and a half inches long. More than one inch, guys, definitely. Uh, warning, follow all, follow all precautions, obviously. I don't know what kind of plug this is, but anyways, guys. Um, I forgot what they call this plug. I'll let you know in the product description. Don't worry about it. This just goes in like that when you're charging, okay? And it goes in this way. So, all right, so you got that, you got the frame, you got the controller, which is the entire ready to run kit. I got the four AA, uh, I believe they're double A batteries, right guys? Yeah, double A's, four double A's inside their mode already, so it can turn on and off. And uh, you got the sticks, left this for, uh, for going up and down altitude, you know, going up, going down. The right stick is for left and right flying, spinning, you guys get it, okay? And if you guys don't understand, like I said, I'll explain more in the product description. And basically, the helicopter's in here, guys. So it <laughs> doesn't look too pretty. Once again, I took it apart, so it's not going to look the way I bought it. It won't look like this, guys. It won't be in pieces like this when you buy it, okay? Everything will be put together. But once again, the controller is called E-Flight. That's the model number of this controller. It's also Spectrum, okay? It's Spectrum quality. So it's excellent quality, pros is, excellent spectrum, ready to run remote, 2.4 gigahertz once again. These buttons are for adjusting, you know, once again, um, so it doesn't go too far forward, too far back in idle mode, you know what I mean, when it's in idle, or, you know, too far left, too far right, you adjust these, and all this other good stuff. Just read your instructions, guys, okay? So, these are your rudders, basically. Uh, let's see. That's the helicopter itself. Brush motors once again. Okay. Anyways, guys, it's taken apart, but at the bottom, the instructions are at the bottom. 
This is basically the whole entire ready to run package. Okay, once again, battery. You get the body, you get the helicopter, you get the remote guns. This is Gorilla Gear Tech signing out. I hope you guys love this product review. There's a lot of noise in the background. I don't want you guys listening to all of it, but anyways, Gorilla Bear Tech signing out, guys. Peace out, guys. Much love and much respect, guys. Take care. Pick one of these up. Pros are you'll love everything about it. Cons, they can't fly outside. It's not brushless. Uh, it's relatively expensive, but it's still decent for the price, guys. Go pick one up this Christmas season. You guys won't regret it. I absolutely love it. That's amazing, guys. Go pick one up today, okay? Once again, Horizon Hobby. Blade Nano CPS. Okay, not CP5. I thought it was a 5, but it's CPS. All right, guys? Great entry level to intermediate helicopter. But once you gain your experience with this one, you crash and everything, and you want to upgrade to a brushless helicopter, you can definitely do that, guys. All right? It's all in the experience. Once again, it's hobby level. Take care, guys. Till the next video. Peace.